Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. We're going to be doing a series of stories about some of the best places to work here in Houston, Texas. Uh, Houston Business Journal does a ranking. A lot of different companies and organizations do a ranking. HBJ, one of the better known ones out there. Delighted to have uh, the CEO of a company called uh, Chai One, uh, Goreth Ken- Kendival. Goreth Kendival. Okay. Yeah, Gore of Candlewall. There we go. And now you're just Gore. But anyway, uh, <laughs> glad to have you on the program. Real quickly, tell us about Chai One. Chai One is an enterprise mobility agency. We build mobile app solutions for oil and gas, healthcare, and finance companies. Okay. So when you see a fancy app on your phone, chances are we did, we did it. Okay. And, and, and you specialize in making those amps for the energy industry. For the oil and gas industry, yes. Yeah. Yep. Um, specifically oil and gas. Mm-hmm. So uh, how old is the company? Uh, we just turned five uh, this past summer. Relatively new. Yeah. And how many employees do you all have, since that's what you are recognized for? Yeah, we have about 47 people at Chai One. Okay. And uh, for five years, 47, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, we're bootstrapped. You're bootstrapped, yeah. And everyone's working more than 40 hours, probably. I hope so. Yeah, you hope so. That's right. <laughs> keep it, keep exploiting that labor. I try to do that all the time. So uh, t- tell us, what. Uh, why do you believe you won the, the honor of being one of the uh, best places to work? You know, one of the things is I, I worked for seven years for a, a consulting firm out of college. And, uh, you know, did the road warrior thing, the Sunday through Thursday, the 70, 80 hour work weeks. Um and one of the things I took away from that was what really makes a company tick is the culture. It's, it's what you can do with the people, for the people, what they can do with each other. And so we really focused on trying not to be a big corporate behemoth. You know, so, for example, when people get hired, we pop champagne. Right. And, wow. we, you know, we don't break the bottle or anything, but, you know, they, they sign their names on the bottle and we keep it on our, in our kitchen in the, in the wall. So... My hope is that one day we'll have a big champagne room, you know, with a big champagne wall with all these bottles on it. Yeah. Um, we'll do beer Fridays. You know, we have guitars in the office. Um, but the key thing is that we really want to foster innovation. And um, the folks that come work at Chai One are people that are not afraid to experiment. Um, of course, with mobile apps, you know, there's, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of cool things coming out. And so we really want to encourage people to to take it uh, to the limit, you know, really stretch themselves uh, to create something really cool for our clients. Yeah, very cool, very cool. So um, you worked from with large, like sounds like enterprise businesses before you started this. That's correct. And so you were trying to get a different culture when you created this. Correct. So where do you get most of your employees? Are, are most of them from the greater Houston area, or are you recruiting from all over the country, Those little, or even all over the planet? Yeah, you know, it's, it's actually quite interesting. Initially, they were mostly from Houston. Uh, the majority are still in Houston and from Houston, but recently, the last six months or so, we've hired a ton of people from Austin. Interesting. Yeah, and so it's it's quite uh, amazing that a lot of tech talent and other talent from Austin is looking for for jobs in Houston. Well, I think they're thinking that long term wise that uh, this place is going to continue to be robust. Where the rest of the country, really, you know, just outside of our borders, it's rougher. Austin's tougher than it is here. Um, it's amazing how robust our economy is here. Yeah, I mean, anybody driving through Houston can see, look at all the cranes that we see around town, right? There's just a lot of positives, a lot of growth, low cost of living, no state income tax. I mean, these are things that are driving people to Texas to begin with. And uh, I feel like Houston is uh, definitely a great place to, to have a family, to start a business, to live. And we're selling all of those things when trying to get people to come down here. Yeah, interesting, interesting. And I would imagine, I mean, you're five years old, is that correct? That's correct. So I imagine over the last five years, uh, for several factors, it's gotten easier and easier to sell Houston, I would think. Yes and no. Mm. Uh, I think Houston still does not have a uh, a tech-friendly vibe, right? So folks in Silicon Valley are going to think twice of moving to Houston, right? So... Houston may be the coolest city, according to Forbes, right? But uh, tech doesn't really quite feature there. And so that's part of the thing that we're trying to do is to put Houston on the map from a technology standpoint. So people want to move here. So the, so the guys that graduated at Rice, for example, don't want to go work for Facebook, that they wouldn't be interested in working for Chai One. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, tell us about the name. 
the story behind the name? Well, so um, my my family is in the tea business. Okay. And uh, you know, I grew up in India, and my parents hoped that one day I would take over their tea business, which I did not. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, the, the other thing that they always wanted me to do was to be number one in whatever I did. And so I figured that I wanted to be a global brand, and I wanted to be number one in something. So there's nothing more global than tea. It's it's consumed by people all around the world. And I didn't want to call my company a tech or a sys or solutions, anything like that. So I took the chai, which is the Indian word for tea, and the one, which got hammered into me throughout my childhood with my, by my parents, and, and made chai one. Yeah, very cool. What is the... Um you know, when you look at your, your long-term aspirations, your long-term goals, uh, wh where do you see the company going? Well, we recently just purchased um, a building in Edo, east of downtown. It was um, Slumberjay's first headquarters in the U.S. Hmm. And uh, we did that because we want to put a stake in the ground as far as a cool technology company is concerned. And so we think that will help us attract talent, you know, to come work for us. So we're in it for the long term. You know, we think that mobile uh, is a is a game changer. It's here to stay, and uh, we believe that we can create some really fantastic apps for uh, Houston's incumbent industries like oil and gas and healthcare. And are those the only areas you're operating in, or are your primary areas? Well, so I think that those are some of our core areas. You know, we've done stuff for the rockets, done stuff for the Dynamo finance companies, but we still think, we definitely think that oil and gas and healthcare are two of the key areas. How, what percentage of your business is oil and gas? Um, I would say that it's about 40% now. It's probably grown about two, 300% uh, in the last two years mm -hmm. as more companies are giving out devices to their employees, I, iOS devices, Android devices, things like what that. What percentage are uh, healthcare? Oh, maybe 15%, 15. but it's one of the, some of the biggest names in Houston. Sure. They just move slower. Right. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. They're the sales cadence for the larger, you know, healthcare companies. The bureaucracy is incredible, actually. Um, how do people get more information? What's the website over there? It's uh, chaiwon.com, C H A I O N E.com. You can also follow us on Twitter, uh, follow us on chaiwon, and also on Facebook, which is chaiwon agency. Gaurav, I appreciate you being with us. Check that out, C-H-A-I-O-N-E dot com. Learn more about them. Uh, sounds like uh, you'll, lo you'll look at anyone's app needs, uh, regardless of what they do, although you have these, these hot areas that you work in. But uh, certainly you can find out more. Thanks for being with us. Thank you so much for having us. All right. When we come back, much more for you. I do want to remind you the best content here shows up over there at USDailyReview.com. You're listening to The Price of Business.